Every day, I am flooded with this question. Is it possible to draw highlights without a graphic tablet? For so many years, I have been working only with a crappy mouse, and I've done everything with it. I've drawn highlights, I've drawn shadows, I've done paintings and all that stuff only using my mouse. And these days, people are just finding excuses to not do what they should do. And today, I'm going to show you how you can draw highlights and not even highlights, but everything using your mouse. There are many techniques. I'm going to tell you it is possible. I got a pretty dope looking image over here. I have drawn two light sources. The actually almost opposite colors on both sides of this picture and we're gonna paint highlights according to these light sources. So basically for this method we are gonna be using our pen tool and our eraser tool. And all you need to do is to just create a new layer. Make sure your brush is at a proper size. Then bring the flow up to 100% and select the proper color and make sure that the color is your foreground color after you have chosen the soft brush the proper size the proper color uh, you're gonna get your pen tool so hit P for the pen tool and you will trace the area that you want to have the rim light on so you have to draw a path on the part where you want to draw the highlight so I'm going to draw a path right over here because that's where I want my rim light to be. Just like that, then I will right click on the path and I will choose the stroke path. Make sure to select brush from this drop down menu and hit simulate pressure. Hit OK and it will simulate a pen drawing for me. As you can see it is a little bit too thick which means my brush has been uh, a little too big. So I will just undo a couple of steps and I will get my brush and will make it a little smaller by tapping on the left bracket key. Then I will repeat the process over again. So I'll draw a path again and I'll repeat the process. I'll right click on it and I will choose the stroke path and it will create a hand drawn rim light for me. I will delete the path and at this point you can get your eraser make sure it's a soft one and a flow of about 10 to 20 percent and you can erase off the extra parts like this and as you can see you can just reshape it the way you like it you can shape it the way you want just like that and you can repeat this process go all over the model create shorter paths longer paths and draw your highlights pretty easy so I'm going to draw another path over here this one's gonna be longer so I'll draw a path for this side of the body then again right click stroke path hit OK then I will delete the path and again with the eraser I will just refine it the way I want I'll draw one more on this part of the body because as you know rim lights are not always on the edge they can be inside as well this is one of the most common mistakes many guys make they only paint highlights on the edge which is not true you gotta paint highlights everywhere which is facing towards the direction of the light so keep that in mind I will make this one even longer go down to the bottom just like that so as you can see you can make your path as long as you want there is no limit but try to keep it not too long so to speak by the way guys if you draw a path you right click and choose a stroke path even if you check simulate pressure if you get a brush stroke just like this it's a normal brush stroke all you need to do is to go to window brush settings and check shape dynamics and make sure that pen pressure is selected 
Then if you create another path and do the same exact thing and make sure the simulate pressure is checked, you will get a pretty amazing looking brush stroke just like that. And I'm just doing the same exact thing for the opposite side but with a different color. Make sure you have both colors as your foreground and background. Whatever color that is on top, which is your foreground color, will be chosen as your highlight color. So keep that in mind as well. There's one more thing that I want to show you. Uh, there's this other technique that pretty much works the same. You're going to trace along the edge of the area that you want to have the highlight on. So I will trace the helmet, only the front part of the helmet where I think the light will be shining upon. Then I will hit Control Enter and I will turn it into a selection. I will hit G for my gradient tool and I will choose the same exact color. I will click this blue and maybe make it even brighter. And make sure the gradient should go from color to transparent. As you can see, it's transparent. Then I will bring down the opacity to about 30-40% and I will just do this to get a little bit of light onto the helmet. I will hit Ctrl D to deselect get my eraser tool and erase off the edge to make it smooth and blended with the scene. Just like that you can draw pretty amazing uh, lights onto your model. I will do the same exact thing for this bottom part of the helmet. So first you trace the area. Then you will get your gradient tool. You will just uh, draw with your gradient then you will erase the edge with the eraser tool and while you're erasing off pay attention to very dark areas like inside the holes or whatever which is too dark you have to erase off that part as well so I will erase it from the areas which are extremely dark like inside this hole over here and the other hole I know some of you might be yelling at me right now why don't you just use blend if it's a lot easier. Yes, I know you can use blend if in this case, but keep that in mind that there are some cases in which blend if will not work. And I will show you in a second. And here is the part where blend if will not do anything. If you want to paint highlights or the type of light that we did with the gradients on these boots with the help of blend if you can just simply do anything since these boots are already the darkest areas of the underlying layer if you try to remove the light from the darkest areas of the underlying layer it will totally remove it from the boots so you won't get anything at all so you can just use blend if over here you have to use some other methods just like this one which works pretty amazingly when blend if is not available and it gives you pretty realistic results just like blend if as you can see and I will just repeat the same process for the other boot as well and this method is just very flexible you can use it anywhere only with the pen tool, a gradient and your eraser you're going to be able to paint lights, amazing lights, almost on any surface. 
And that brings our today's episode to an end. I hope you learned something useful today. And if you ever use this technique in any of your artworks, please let me know, tag me on Instagram, or send me your photos. I'll be glad to see. Till the next episode, peace out.